Well, thank you. My name is Marc, and I will, I'm happy to show you four features today. The photo handling, how to insert or how to display a photo from the database. Also, how to do a Zoom search to, to have a big picture of your table. How to display relational data that Isaac just show, showed us how to, to relate them, but how we can benefit from this and how to display geographic data from GIS support in MySQL. <coughs> okay, so let's start with the photo handling. We have our employees table right here. And we have inside it a column called photo. And the data type is long blob, which means that a MySQL database can hold also non-textual things like in the like binary things like image or audio. Um, in the full structure of this column, we see that there is there are two extra pieces of, of information. One is the mime type. So, if we want to be able to display this data, we will select image JPEG because we plan to put JPEG images into this column. And we also want to transform the data when we are browsing the table. So we want to apply an inline display. So we want to see the JPEGs when we browse the table. But now we don't have any pictures into this table. When we, we browse the table, we only see that the um, photo column is empty. It could contain blobs, but there are nothing yet. So we edit this employee. And what I'm going to do is to, to pick a picture that is on my workstation. I will upload it into the row. So I will send it to the, to the web server, which will send it to the MySQL server. So I browse my file system locally. I will choose this picture here. <coughs> so now it is set to be uploaded. When I click go, it goes to the web server. And by the way, the web server could be could, could not be not local. So it generated an update statement. And then when I make a little room here, when I browse the page, I see a thumbnail that is generated. It's not stored. It's generated on the fly. And I can access the full picture, too. OK, now uh, we'll go back to our list of tables. And in the employees database, we have a salaries table, which shows for each employee the, the time when, it change, uh, when the salary changed. OK. But looking like that, I don't see much information I got the raw data, but I don't see the big picture of the, the trend of the salaries. So to be able to see that, I will go to search. Then I'll choose Zoom search. So this will enable me to generate a plot of two <coughs> columns. So I'll pick the from date column and the salary column. And on the plot, I want to label each data point. So let's pick employee number as the label for each point. Now, if I have a huge table, generating this plot could, could uh, use a lot of memory in my browser. So I should really restrain myself to 
a little number of rows, but it depends on your memory and, and your system, your, and your workstation. So now I see that I have about 100 data points. I see the trend of my salaries. They are going up. It, it's very, very interesting to see. But it's called zoom search because you can pick a region of the graph for this year, for, for example. And I have a more detailed information about the dots. I have the employee number that appears like that. And I, I can click on a dot to edit the, this row of data. And I, I could increase my salary and change it. But I won't do that. Next, I would like to show you the, how you, we can benefit from the relational uh, association we, we, we did between the employees and the department's tables. So in the department employees table, now we see only the employee numbers and department numbers, only the keys. And what if I don't rem remember what is department five? One thing I can do, if I just want to, to look at one department, is to click and follow the link, which brings me to the department table for this department. And I can see here the name, but it could be telephone number or something. But uh, it's not very convenient if I need to do many, uh, many times the same operation. So Let's use another way to, to be able to see all this related data at a glance. I will use a display option here, which is hidden by default. So by, <coughs> by default, we see the relational keys. If I click on relational display column, this is a column that describes a department or that describes an employee. So in this case, the department name and the employee name, last name. OK, um, my last feature is to talk about GIS. So GIS means Geographic Information System. So it's a system to, uh, to manage uh, data that relates to geography, like coordinates on a map. and uh, MySQL supports this kind of data as well as normal text or numeric data. So let's open this other database. I have a table called capitals that contains the coordinates for each capital on, of the world, or many capitals at least. And uh, here we only see that it uh, contains spatial data. It's uh, only uh, it, it's 25 bytes, but I don't see exactly what it contains. So again, we go to the display options, and we will use a format called well-known text, which is, uh, which is the markup language for uh, geographic data. So with that, we see that it contains point point data with coordinates. And let's try to see what all these coordinates mean. So we can go down there and click Visualize GIS Data. So we see more or less the, con the form of the continents with the cities coordinates of the capitals displayed there. <coughs> to be able to better see the where they are located, we will call OpenStreetMaps, and we, now we get a layer of, of the, the map. We have this kind of layer, or a satellite-based layer, like that. 
and we can we can zoom in if we want uh, down to the street level if, of each city. Thank you.